Welcome to mobilephonetraining.co.uk, bringing life to mobile communications. Hi and welcome to mobilephonetraining.co.uk. We're here today talking to you about the LG Beauty uh, and the browser. And this is a video in response to a query that we received. So, without further ado, to get the phone to life, you press the unlock key on the phone twice. Um, then what you can do, there's a few ways you can enter the browser. You can go into the menu and then you can go into uh, mult, uh, not multimedia, organization, sorry, which is the third tab down and then hit browser. And it takes you into the browser menu. Alternatively, you can, depending on which software version you've got, rub your finger alongst the floating arrows, wait for the nine access sub menu to come up and hit browser. It may be called T-Zones or um, Web and Walk or um, Orange World. Um, what else could it be called? Uh, Vodafone Live or O2 sometimes have a dedicated O2 box here and when you tap that it loads the browser. So here we are, we're into the browser. Some of the first things that you'll notice is that it tries to fit the entire page into the constraints of uh, the, the, the screen that you can see here. Um, what you've got at the bottom is like a ghost menu that will appear and disappear. So let's go through that. First things first is you can go full screen and it hides the ghost menu for you so you can use the ghost screen to get the ghost menu back up just tap at the bottom right and it comes up quite easily um, unlike the Apple iPhone it doesn't have like an accelerometer so you have to tap this key here and it flips it um, flips the page for you so if you've got a wired page you can do that and it will flip the page for you no problems uh, let's flip that back Okay. Um, the other thing to think about is if you wanted to enter an address, like if you wanted to go to, I don't know, um, Google or something, and what you can do is tap here, hit this button here, and it will take you into where you can enter text. Now you can choose to enter text um, in two different ways. I'll show you by tapping this key here. Oh, I need to recalibrate. So you've got keypad and you've got handwriting box. You can choose just keypad. And as you can see, we've been to a wide variety of uh, websites, including Facebook and Opera Mini, as you've probably seen from our previous videos. So you can go into Google, hit connect. And then what happens is you get this connecting toolbar and you get this red line and it will go straight through. So there you are, you can see it there. So I think we went to a specific page within Google that couldn't load. Um, other things that you'll notice on the ghost menu is that here you've got like a mini map. So if the site's uh, quite a long site, you can scroll up and down it using this red toolbar. And if I wanted to go down to the bottom, scroll down to the bottom and then tap and it takes you to the bottom of the website. If I wanted to go straight to the top, I scroll up to the top and tap and it takes me to the top of the website. So it's got like a mini map preview, which is quite cool. Um, sub menu option here so you can add bookmarks um, and it tells you what the what the name is and what the URL and you press save stop um, press sub menu again um, view bookmarks so you've got all the view bookmarks that you've got some of them come pre-installed well the majority of them will probably come pre-installed with some content that you can buy from the network um, new window basically it adds a new tab at the top of the page as you can see there it says new page and then what you do is you tap and then you go to whichever url that you want to go to um to literally flick between tabs sorry you literally just tap the tab it's as simple as that we think you can have about three or four tabs open um at any one time so we'll just go here and uh close window okay so back into the sub menu again you can send a link so if you're on a page and you want to send that link to somebody very quickly you can choose to do so via um, normal message or email um, history pretty self-explanatory all the sites that you've been to you can save this page if you wanted to and view save pages if you've got any that are inside here um, settings wise it's quite good actually settings wise uh, let's just go into settings for you so you can see it there oh, scroll up uh, settings okay you've got rendering mode you've got standard screen optimized text wrap uh, and text only so if it's in screen optimized 
what will happen is uh, if we hit refresh what it should do is try and keep the page into the constraints of the site or oh, well, into the constraints of the screen sorry so you don't have to keep on scrolling left and right left and right um, if I go back into settings again um, so you've got various options there and it's probably worth trying them to see which one suits you um, minimap that is the the, like the thumbnail view or the page overview that you just saw me do when I scrolled up and down and went to the top by using that little red box. If you choose thumbnail, what generally happens is um, you'll see like a little box appear here and you can control it for, by using that thumbnail view here. So rather than you pressing the option at the bottom, you can tap, you can scroll up the website and it should appear. There you are. So as you're scrolling up and down the website, as soon as it notices that you're scrolling too far, it will give you the kind of like the menu map that comes up, which is quite good. Uh, jump back into settings, menu map. We like the uh, page overview for that one. Oop. Save that. Okay, back into settings again. Um, you've got the cache, of course, where you have the cache on or off or whether you wish to clear the cache. Cookies are also there. JavaScript is obviously on. Um, a lot of sites are using JavaScript these days. And security, things like um, secure pop-ups. Do you want them on or off when you're going through these websites? So you've got quite a host of um, options there and you've obviously got help as well. I think the help is quite quite good. Um, because it tells you what each of the keys mean, uh, whether you've got landscape or portrait view, what to do, um, thumbnail views and everything else, which I think is very, very good. Um, the other buttons on here are obviously the back and forward browsers, and then you've got the refresh key just there. Now, for the browser, if you wanted to zoom into the page, just say the page is too small and you've got um, impaired eyesight of some kind, you can use the jog wheel at the back to zoom in and out. Now, the view tier allows you to zoom in. I'm zooming out and it allows you to zoom out up to 25%, and then you can zoom in up to 175, I believe. There we are. There you are. So 175%, so you can see the full text very, very well. And if you want to click on a link, just tap, and then you'll see the link appear. And then you just tap again and you will start to see connecting right at the top and it will take you to that relevant page for instance to zoom out just flick flick again and it will allow you to zoom out which is very very good um going on to places like youtube it was best to go onto youtube mobile because youtube.com won't work um because it doesn't have although the ui is built on flash it doesn't actually have a flash player in built within the browser like a browser plugin, so that won't work. Um, other things to probably bear in mind is that you can do multitasking. So you could be in a website, um, press and hold your multitasking key at the top right, and it takes you into the multitasking menu, and you can go through the menu, for instance, and go into various other applications or send a text message or something, and then literally come straight back to browsing the internet if you wanted to which i think is very very good we would also would recommend that you probably see our video tutorial on how to install opera onto the handset because we believe that opera is a very very good solution for web browsing also um and you can get the you can get the latest one i think the latest one at the moment is opera 4 um, 4.0 so probably see our video, video tutorial about how to insert install opera onto this handset and that will probably help you a lot more um, if you need any more videos or any more queries please don't hesitate to ask us we'll be more than happy to get them online for you i hope this um, video tutorial has been sufficient and that was the lg Beauty web browser brought to you by mobile phone training.co.uk thank you